here we are again in the uh, incubation room. That's a conda. Look at that black belly. And I am checking Hogno's eggs. And our friend Danae's birthday is today. And so she's really hoping that these eggs from Kate and Rango, which were previously her snakes, she's really hoping that they hatch today on her birthday. And oh my gosh, that's a snow! <laughs> Hey, oh. you should look at these eggs. You see what's that? That's a snow. Yeah. I had to remember what this clutch, aww, That's hi the cutie. First snow we've ever produced. And then we got two normals. And yeah, and then a normal, <laughs> and one well, we should cut. Be exanthic. Yeah, that one I think we should go ahead and cut, otherwise we'll have no surprise, and they'll all be out. Let's do it, I can't wait. You know, we normally wait 24 hours, Missy. We do, but there's only one egg left. What if yeah. it's already out by the time 24? Let's let's cheat on one. <laughs> okay, this one I really want to know. Okay, oh my gosh, that's a snow. So the snow is a combination of albino and azanthic, and the pair, uh, Kate and Rango, they were both double het albino and azanthic. At least we were told that. We were told that, yeah. So that means every baby has a 1 in 16 chance of being a snow. And we had three good eggs from this And <laughs> We got one. And we got a snow. That's awesome. Yeah. So now I'm Can curious, is that one a normal or an azanthic? It's kind of hard to tell with just yeah, the head. So we need we'll, to see the body. Yeah, we'll have to wait till he comes out. That one kind of looks grayscale from the side. It kind of does. That might be an azanthic. So let's take a look. Oh, that's right. This was our poop clutch because all the oh, eggs yeah. looked funny. Poop, rabbit poop. And corn. <laughs> yeah, corny poop. <laughs> corn was our uh, snow. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot. These are such thin, walled eggs. Oh. Okay. Oh, I could totally see that being an azanthic. That might be an azanthic. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, we'll check back later when they come out, and we'll see uh, when we know for sure. All right. Hey, we made a snow. We did. Well, we're dumb. Uh, it yeah. turns out Kate and Rango, the parents, aren't double het albino in the azanthic. They are azanthic het albino. So of course these babies are azanthic. Yeah. So we didn't hit any special odds, but I mean, we kind of hit the odd with the snow and they're all out now. So let's take a look. I mean, we did this twice this year. Maybe you shouldn't open a building at the same time you're trying to do babies. Yeah, this is what happens <laughs> when there's a lot going on, I guess, but that's okay. Aw, there's our first snow. Aww. And two normal, two uh, yeah, azanthic. Yeah, azanthic. But a first snow. Oh, you're so cute. Hi. Now, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it has a white tongue. He was like sleeping. Oh, he was, and then I woke him up. I'm sorry. Sorry to wake you up. Come here. Hi, baby. Is it a boy or a girl? Oh, are you a boy or a girl? That looks like, ooh, I'd say a long-tailed girl. It tapers right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is probably these, gonna be a keeper. These two are like, what What about us? Yeah, you guys are cute too. These are <laughs> chunky babies. Look yeah, comparatively. This. Oh, this little Azanthic. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you a boy or a girl? You are a That's girl. A girl yeah. yeah, you're a little girl. So these would be Azanthic, possibly het albino. Yeah, now we have to check the last one, yeah. boy or girl. You are a boy. Oh yeah. Definitely a boy. Look at how long that tail is and how thick it is at the base before it starts tapering off. Yep, that is a boy. Oh, you're so chunky. You're so, so cute. A boy, a girl, and a mystery. A mystery. Oh, little snow. You are so pretty. I wasn't expecting the tongues to be white. Like, I guess it's a little bit pink at the base. But oh, look yeah, at... it is pretty white. Yeah, that is so It's hard pretty. to get that on camera, though. Oh, okay. Oh, baby. Fine, if you're not going to pay attention to me, I'll just escape. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys are beautiful too. We've just never No. And you know, we've never produced azanthix before, so these are also very special little babies. All three of them are special. But man, that snow is just incredible. Yeah, I can see why snows when it hit the market they were two to three to four grand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Now I think they're about four hundred dollars is what a snow is typically worth. I mean, not that we're selling this one, we're definitely gonna keep it. Assuming it's a good eater anyway. Yep. So uh we've got babies! Oh my goodness! Well, I suppose it's time to bring them to the facility and set up their baby bins. Hooray, baby bins. Looks like they're ready to get out. Oh yeah, this one's, uh, I'm okay with oh it. Oh my gosh, a snow, I can't believe we did it. 
Well, we thought we'd mix it up a little bit with this clutch and instead of showing you taking them from the lay box or the incubation box into their baby bins, I figured I'd wait a couple extra weeks actually to give you the next update, which is gonna be for today. The babies are now close to a month old and they have had a few meals already. So I figured it would kind of just mix up the video a little bit for you all. So let's check on these babies. Here they are. Here's their baby bin anyway. Where are the baby? Oh, there's one of the Azanthics. Hi, come here. You are so pretty. Gosh, now that they've had actually a couple of sheds now, they've had their second shed, the first one being immediately after they hatched, you can really see their colors. Look at that azanthic coloration. So what the azanthic gene does is removes the yellow pigmentation from a snake's scales and overall body, so that kind of leaves you with more of a gray scale coloration in the end. So let's compare this adorable little azanthic baby to a normal so you can really see the difference side by side. Here you go, you can really see that color difference there. Oh my gosh, so we've got the normal coloration on the right and the azanthic on the left. And now I think we need to add another morph here. There we go, now we have an albino in the middle, a normal on the left, and the azanthic on the right. Look at the difference in those colors and the, the variety of colors with those different morphs. But we still have one more morph to add. And here's the snow mixed in, Ah. So your wild type hognose, look at those colors, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, seeing all the different morphs side by side. Wow, I've never been able to experience this before, before now that I'm thinking of it. Holy cow. Okay, so you have your wild type morph, which is the one on, in the middle right here. If you add the azanthic gene, which removes the yellow pigmentation, it gives you that. If you remove black pigmentation using the albino gene, it gives you that. And if you combine azanthic with albino, that's when you get a snow, because you've then removed both the yellow and the black pigmentation, leaving behind a pinkish white snake, and they are gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at those colors. That is super cool. I kind of just spontaneously decided to do this, and it's, this is really cool. It's something I've never been able to experience before. Look at all of them. Okay, I don't know which one's my, okay, this snow is probably my favorite. Which one's your favorite? Comment below which of these four beautiful baby hognoses is your favorite. And okay, we'll go back to the clutch. All right, so in here, we have the snow baby there, the azanthic I was just holding there. There's another azanthic in here, and just like our other clutches, we're keeping them in groups of two or three since the baby hogs seem to eat better for us. There's the other azanthic. So we have a girl azanthic, a boy azanthic, and a girl Snow! Look at you, you're so pretty! Oh my gosh, you are stunning, girl! Look at you! Aww, I hope you're a good eater. So far you've been kind of picky and I've had to uh, use some tricks up my sleeve to get you eating, but hopefully she catches on here pretty soon. The other two, the Azanthics, are actually really good eaters, so I'm not worried about them at all. We'll be able to sell those here pretty soon after they have enough meals. But the snow, I'm keeping her anyway, so I'll just be able to work with her myself. You are so pretty! Oh my goodness! And none of you played dead. I'm really, I'm really impressed. Good job, everyone. All right, well, thank you everybody for watching today's video where we got a snow baby hognose and our very first azanthic baby hognoses. How exciting is that? That was really neat having them all side by side. I'm glad I had that opportunity to show you all of the morphs by, side by side. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. And thank you as always to our amazing pa What are you doing? Oh, you're just resting your head on the corner. Okay, sorry. I thought you were trying to eat the bin, which wouldn't surprise me, I guess. Anyway, thank you Patreon backers for your very generous support. You help us out more than you know. And everybody watching us helps us out too. So thank you everybody. And we'll see you next time.